Welcome to today's chemistry session. Today we will have the topic electrolytic refining. It is one of the methods, one of the refining methods of metallurgy. Electrolytic refining is the process of removing impurities from an impure metal by using electricity. And now coming to the experimental setup, you can see here the impure metal that to be refined is taken as the anode and a fine strip of the same metal in its pure form is taken as the cathode and both these electrodes anode and cathode should be dipped in a suitable electrolyte that is an electrolyte containing the soluble salt of the same metal. Now here at the anode oxidation takes place. Any element that undergo oxidation will lose electrons. So now you can see here, when we write it as a general equation, the metal releases n number of electrons to form a positively charged ion with n number of positive charges. Okay? At cathode, the reduction happens. So this ion with the positive charges accepts electrons. During the reduction in terms of electron transfer, that particular ion accepts electrons to become the metal. So here, this at this at this cathode, this charged ion accepts electrons to form metal. Then now coming to as we when we take an example for this refining method, we take the example of copper. We can just say it as the impure metal here is copper. The impure copper we will take at anode and here we will take the pure fine strip of copper metal as cathode and as electrolyte what will be here? It will be acidified copper sulfate solution. So anode will be an impure copper copper strip, an impure copper strip, and the cathode will be a pure fine strip of copper, and the electrolyte solution, which is containing the soluble salt of the same copper, will be acidified copper sulfate solution. When electricity passes, what happens? This electrolyte will dissociate to form Cu2 plus cations and SO4 2 minus ions. And what happens in the anode? Anode releases electrons to form Cu2 plus ions and it will get dissolved. It will come into the solution. And then those Cu2 plus cations that has come to this uh, solution or in the electrolyte will be attracted by the cathode. This positively charged ions will be attracted by the negatively charged electrode here and it will come here. This Cu2 plus ions will come from the solution to this fine copper metal copper strip and from there it will accept electrons, accept two electrons to become copper metal and the formed copper metal will be sticking on this fine metal strip. When time goes on, when time increases, this copper strip will become bigger in size by the accumulation of more number of copper atoms, copper metals on this and this anode will become smaller in size or it will be eaten up. The anode will be eaten up and this cathode will become bigger in size by the accumulation of copper atoms on it. So this refined copper will be accumulated on this copper strip. And that is about the refining and during this process when this uh, copper ions, Cu2 plus ions are coming, impure metal is uh, separated, impure metal is getting dissolved in the electrolyte and coming to this cathode to get it, get attached to it by accepting electrons to become metal and it will be getting deposited on it. During that process, the impurities that are associated with the impure metal will be coming down and settling down, down of that solution, settling at the bottom of the solution and that is known as anode mud or anode sludge. This anode mud or anode sludge is not necessarily be a sand but it can contain many number of other useful metals. For example in the case of blister copper, when we take blister copper for refining of copper, what happens?
atoms those uh, impurities will contain many important metals like uh, antimony selenium silver gold etc so the cost of this refining method even can be uh, remunerated or recovered by the recovery of this elements that means the cost of this refining method can meet by the recovery of these elements that are present in the anode mud or anode sludge so anode mud is also not can not can be considered as an impurity here but it is also useful so that is uh, all for today's uh, session thank you see you